shaking my head. Why am I not surprised? Way of life as cute. Even as hunted. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you may have heard about the lone wolf. Wait a minute, that's, they didn't call him that. Let me try again. As you would have heard earlier, what happened with the mentally unstable. Oh, wait, they didn't, they didn't say that either. Oh, that's right. Terrorist attack that took place on London Bridge killing multiple people and injuring several. Now, if you're anything like me, when you heard this news, you were like, Ya Allah, please don't let it be a Muslim. Ya Allah, beishak koi bhi ho, lekin musulman na ho, Ya Allah. But of course, it happened to be a Muslim. But I want to point out something that is actually quite convenient if you think about it. The one time a Muslim woman is a public hero in your country within a week that same religion is brought back down and their reputation is tarnished convenient isn't it your boy boris is down the poles and uh he needs a little spike a little boost so there's these brilliant ideas such as listen listen to the idea i'm going to allow a man who was under a terrorist alert watch list to be released and to walk out freely in the middle of the streets and and listen this is the best part of the idea guys they can do whatever they want <laughs> and when they do something stupid because i know they will because they're freaking crazy i'm gonna come in like that white knight and i'm gonna save the day surging my way back up to the polls huh? what do you think huh high fives high fives what do you think huh give me some fish and chips moments like this are conveniently placed to remind us through fear mongering and islamophobic propaganda to help raise certain political candidates up in those polls. Attacks like this serve as a distraction to enforce fear in people's hearts so they can maintain control over them. Because fear sells. You know, I, I just find it so convenient that whenever there's time for re-election, something incredible, like miraculous just happens. For example, in 2011, when Obama was months away from re-election, he had somehow magically caught Osama bin Laden, the number one terrorist in the world, apparently, who was living in a in a house in Pakistan. This Bindu Trump finds this ISIS dude and shoots him? Like, all of a sudden now, right before re-elections, you wanna catch this ISIS dude that you've been looking for and trying to find for so long and you finally kill him right before re-election? That smells fishy. Maybe it's those fish and chips you ordered. But people are on to you. People are asking the questions that how can a person on a terrorist alert watch list be easily readily available to roam in the middle of the streets where innocent people are walking going to work commuting and you're going to put a criminal a sicko a deranged mind like that amongst people that makes no sense remember something guys there are agendas that you and i cannot see but it's starting to become a little more obvious we all understand that fear is the ultimate source of control the more fear someone can establish in your heart the more control they will have over you so if you want people to stop controlling you stop being afraid the only thing you should fear is fear itself oh that was the video guys i want you to tell me your thoughts in the comment section below what were your major takeaways from this video what are your overall thoughts about this entire incident Drop Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, if you benefited from this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me another day. Another day. For the breath